Hi there, JT family, and welcome to part three of the power of passion. In part one, we focused on the definition of a passion. Part two, we focused on which areas you can invest your time in to identify what your passion is. And part three, well, part three is a special one. If you haven't watched part one or part two, I want to encourage you to please go and do so because it will obviously set the tone for part three. Did you know that we can change or make an impact in the world by living passionate lives? As explained in part one, the com in the word compassion means with. So if we live with passion, we can make a difference in this world. We can have compassion. The next definition I want to share with you is a little bit deeper. And that's why I left it for part three. Did you know that if you go into the Greek definition of the word passion, it means to suffer, to have pain. In part two, I explained to you that you can get to the place of identifying your passion by looking at the things that you naturally excel at and the things that you enjoy. But here's the twist. Some of the most passionate people that I've ever met in my life are passionate about the things that cause them the most pain. I have seen people become passionate about the medical field because they experienced pain in the area of maybe losing someone because there were a lack of medical assistance in their area. I've seen people become passionate about gender-based violence because they were part of a process like that themselves. I have seen young men become passionate about the fatherlessness in our nation because they are fatherless themselves. So what am I trying to say to you? Is there maybe an area in your life where you experienced extreme pain? Because like I said, the Greek definition of passion is pain or to suffer. On the other hand, your passion will some way, somehow in the future, cause you a little bit of pain. But that is just a test to see whether you are really passionate about that particular area. I believe that once you take that pain that you've experienced in a particular area in your life, you can turn it around into a real impactful passion. Just look at myself. My life completely changed the day my father passed away. It changed everything. The whole structure in my life was broken. I didn't have someone to speak to, I didn't have someone to listen to me. I didn't have someone to ask the real questions in life. And that is why once I healed from that process, it turned into my passion. Today, I love to create structure for people around me. I love to create structure for young people, for those who are fatherless. So for the last 12 years, I've spent all my time investing in that particular passion. And I will forever more do that. It's the thing that wakes me up in the morning. It's the thing that drives me to be a support structure to those who doesn't have that structure. So what is your passion? Maybe you need to start taking action in a particular area, or like I said to you in this part, maybe you need to find healing in an area which you can turn into a passion. All I know is you are able to do so. The world needs you to be passionate about something, whether it's something that you enjoy or maybe something that hurt you in the past. This is me, Fadi Yannis, signing off on the power of passion. It is your time to roar. <laughs>